You know that delicious, amazing smell when you walk into a bakery? No bakery smells as good as Francesco's. Welcome to the show. How are you? Good. How are you? Wow. You know, it just, it, you, know, you walk in and even before you open the door, I think it's just like greets you with happiness and delight. Tell us about, it's 33 years that 33 you've had? 33 years. Okay. Yes. So tell me about your bakery. Oh, it's uh, very hard work. And, uh, you know, we really put a lot of time and pride into and to everything that we make, we try to uh, always put smiles on people's faces. And I, uh, I really enjoy the baking part of it. You know, I grew up in it since I'm a little kid. My dad owned uh, a few bakeries in, uh, in Italy. Uh, never one, owned one here. And, they, uh, and I opened up my place when I was 21 years old. And I've been there ever since, you know. And thank God everything is doing really well. And we, uh, we really put our heart and soul into it. You can taste the love. Yes. You actually, you know, they always say that, oh, you can taste the love, but you really truly can. And you know, you're so gracious and wonderful to the customers. They're always greeted with like a fresh baked good, a little tasty treat of some sort. Yes, um, that's... And I think that really goes into the atmosphere. It's fun to go into your bakery. Yes, it is. You know, we get all the kids that come in there, they get free cookies. We have this thing for many, many years. We just keep that up all the time, you know, to, you know, make people really smile, you know. What's the secret to your success? Is it the ingredients? Like, what, tell me about that. Uh, really, we put a really, really like love into it, you know, and keeping the stuff really fresh, and you know, uh, old fashioned. We do everything by hand. We have no machines. We have really hard workers. It's it's a trade that is uh, really a dying trade, and we do everything from scratch. It's an art, really. It's an art. Yes, it's. Uh, it's a so, real art. So when you uh, decided to go into business for yourself, tell us about those early days. How did you oh. make that happen? Because that's, <laughs> you know. a big chance. Okay. And, uh, you know, my dad, I, I grew up with being in a bakery with my dad, you know, always hardworking. And, uh, you know, at 21 years old, I said, you know, I'm going to go into my own business. I was scared. But, you know, I uh, really, really enjoy baking. I love the science of it. You know, I love when product comes out uh, really good and... You know, it tastes good, looks good, you know, and the freshness is number one. Yes. You know, and using the right ingredients, you know, we really use the best ingredients, you know, best chocolates, best the, the butter. Uh, and we really, really try very hard to keep the stuff consistent and freshness. It matters. Old fashioned, yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Anything funny over the years ever happened? Like, you know, like, uh, for instance, so my Aunt Connie, um, this year for Christmas, she made my grandmother's recipe of meringues. And the meringue, I'm not kidding, Francesco, all over my cabinet. Oh, <laughs> I could tell you stories of what happened, forget it. You know, uh, there, was, there was times where, you know, we would just be rolling a whole rack of cheesecakes and the whole rack fell on the floor. You know, it wasn't uh, fun, but, you know, there's, there's some things that do happen and, you know... Uh, you just pick yourself up? Pick ourselves up. Start yes. a fresh batch? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I told her, I said, don't worry about it. I said, I'm sure they're going to taste great. I can always clean the cabinets later. Um, you're known for your specialty cakes as well. Yes, we okay. do a lot of wedding cakes. What's the most outrageous, outlandish cake you've ever had to create? Oh, forget it. Uh, we are, we are uh, featured in the Long Island Browning Groom magazine. And uh, I do mostly all the catering halls on Long Island. And we do some really, really extravagant cakes. You know, I, if I had to tell you which one was the most extravagant, we really have a lot. And know? fillings and too. Fillings, we got unlimited fillings, and we 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 do uh, cake tastings to your needs. You know, and brides and grooms really, really, you know, enjoy the tasting, and they get to pick any kind of filling, and we create their own fillings if they if we don't have something we create it for them it's funny because you mentioned that because when i walked into the bakery the other day that's what jamie was doing uh -huh. and it looked it was a whole tray of like 12 or 15 different samplings yes. and things like that and she said that that um i don't know if she's ever told you that she said but that's one of her favorite things about working there yes is that the doing those cake tastings and working with the customers and creating that wonderful customized solution for somebody yes. truly makes her happy and, and you know you you uh somebody is getting married you know a bride is getting married you know it's once that they're getting married and it's really really something joyful you know it's uh, really uh, a catering to what the bride really wants and that's really really uh, fulfilling it's 
it's really nice. And you can even get dinner and dessert at your place. <laughs> yeah. Because I've had your toasted ravioli. I've had the wrap fresh, fresh yes, we ravioli, fresh mozzarella. It's all there. Yes, so you can we, come in and you can get a whole meal, right? Yes, we can. Yes. <laughs> um, you've also been highlighted in a lot of other television shows. Yes, I was on the Food Network uh, uh, channel. I, I won first prize on... Uh, um, then also I had, uh, I was on Channel 12 News in my earlier, when I first opened up my bakery. I was on Channel 12 with uh, Stan Dawkin. And uh, also I was, um, there was... Uh, <laughs> Seinfeld. Seinfeld. Derek yes. and Jessica Parker. Jessica Parker came in, yes. They, they did a little clip on my store. So, you know, I've met a lot of, the, a lot of football stars that came into my store. It's really, really nice to, to have all this kind of publicity I guess Aww. and a, and a beautiful gift too that's the other thing too like if you know you're looking for something for to give somebody you know either a retirement party or an engagement party or just any first communions any type of yes, celebrations you could walk right in and you package things up so beautifully there yeah, so we do we do cater to any any occasions at all whether it's a second day today uh, Mother's Day Valentine's, Christmas, holidays, you know, and it's it's a joyful, really, really nice, nice things. Well, I thank you for always being there for us and all the celebratory <laughs> things that we have You're going welcome. on throughout the years. And I did ask you um, if you would be honored to work, I would be honored to work with you to create our 10th anniversary cake. Not a problem. And we're going to start uh, sketching that out probably tomorrow. So okay. I thank you very, very much for joining us and um, wishing you all the best and continued success. Likewise. And health and happiness to you always. Thank so, you. There you go. Thank you. You know, it's, it's those small mom and pop businesses that really are the fabric of our life. Please stay tuned for more special guests on Live It Up. Go to his bakery.